Hey my FPV friends, if you've got the DJI Action 5 Pro for your FPV quad and your footage looks like unstabilized, like wavy, distorted, this video is for you. After all the tests I did, this camera seems to be really bad when it comes to stabilization on a drone. So we don't want, we want to, to bypass this um, internal stabilization, which is called Rocksteady, and to the stabilization on a software called Gyroflow. So to be able to put, to upload the file on Gyroflow, you have to change your settings in your camera. So what you have to do is to shoot rocks in Rocksteady off. This will remove the stabilization of the camera. The footage will look really shaky, but this will enable the um, software Gyroflow to be able to read the gyro data. And then your camera angle should be set as large white. So that's all. And next step is to, yeah, just a quick reminder, always shoot at double your frame rate. So 30 FPS, I shoot at shutter speed 160 to get like this motion blur. You can triple also. This is sometimes better for FPV. So yeah, it's up to you. So yeah, and this doesn't seem to change the distortion problem. So I did the test, this doesn't make any difference. So that's the settings. Next step is on the laptop. Now, after having downloaded the software Gyroflow, it's free. You just have to drag and drop your non-stabilized file into the software. So let's do this. And I drop it so it will process it if you did not shoot in wide non-stabilized it will send you a warning message that it cannot read the file so first thing I used to do is to lock horizon reduce it a bit these are not related to the wavy shots you know Increase a bit the zoom limit to get a more stable footage. And the most important is to add a low pass filter. So low pass filter, 50 Hertz. So this will smooth the transformation and also reduce the, the influence of high frequency on the camera. So with this, you will see that the footage will be much more smooth. And of course, you can play a bit with these settings to get what's suitable for you. But you see, we don't have any oscillation and it's really stable. So this is key. Low pass. The key is low pass filter under motion data and 50 Hertz. This will make your shot really stable and avoid any, any waves and distortion. And you can see how the software process the stabilization here. It's quite interesting. And then you just export and you will have your, your file. So that's it.